trying to think of an example for this one without being completely naughty. Um, I don't know if I can. So <laughs> maybe we'll just be naughty. Anyway, whatever. Condition negative reinforcers. This is when you have a neutral stimulus and you pair it with another stimulus that happened to be negatively reinforcing and it takes on the properties of the negative reinforcing stimulus. Hmm. I don't know. You got any examples for me? Because I'm kind of stuck here. I'm drawing a blank. I'll wait <laughs> while you respond. Um, and an example for you after, th since someone finally responded um, and magic through the magic of YouTube, you were able to go back in time and tell me what it was. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> how about this? So beep, 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 beep. That's really annoying, right? Especially if I continue to do that. Well, you could pair something with that. What have I got? Oh, I have a phone. You could pair my phone. So imagine this is just like a yellow card or something or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's magic. So anyway, you pair this with beep, beep. Beep, beep. So you pair this with my beeping. Eventually you could do this and present that and you'd be like, go away, the beeping's coming. Ah, I'm going to die. Um, so, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So think about it in your car. Um, the light on your dash, right, when you don't have your seatbelts on, the light kind of predicts that sound of the seatbelt. So I bet if you uncook the buzzer and it still produce that light, that it would be aversive enough for you to put your seatbelt on. That would be my guess. That would be a condition negative reinforcer. 